Well, good morning. Derby Jack here. Well, I got a good juicy one for you this morning, people. I'm watching my local news, of course, you know. And um, uh, apparently, in, in, a, in, a, in one of the local towns, they just, they just finished putting up a big cell tower next to, in an area right next to the school. And of course, this mother's at a, you know, at a town meeting. And she's sitting there, you know, uh, saying she's got her little list there, you know, talking about, you know, you know, what if you found out that, you know, you could, you, your kids are getting sick and, 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 and having cancer and all this from, from going to school or you're, 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 you're working and you're getting cancer and all this stuff because there's 5G towers, you know, right next to you, right there, you know, uh, when all the, when all the rays and all this and, 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 and you find out what, what happens if your kids... Of course, you know, she's sitting there saying, we, you know, we want this tower taken down, you know. They had, I guess, a little petition of parents and stuff. Well, of course, the, the Cancer Society, okay, they, they come out, you'd think that they'd be batting for, no, no. They don't really believe that 5G radiation poisoning or any type of radio could actually, there has not been any type of, you know, summary on whether it could or could not cause any, you know, problems, headaches, or anything like that. They, but they, they, they always want to do, you know, just to be sure that we'll, we'll look at it. They'll investigate. That'll be the last time you hear about that. And also, and also, of course, you know, I mean, you know, of course, the... No, no, there'll be investigations, but nobody will really do much of anything because we, look, these are cell, we can't start taking down cell towers because we can't depend on the satellites, if you know what I mean. That's right, you can't depend on those things that are supposed to be up there in the, where they say they are, but of course we know they're not unless they're on a balloon or something like that. But anyway, so we we got to depend on the towers because everything's got to be close, you know, so it bounces off each other, you know. Like when you see satellite dishes, they look like they're aimed up, but that's just because it, you know. Just like just like when they shoot bottle rockets up, you know, and from NASA and, and they curve, the same thing happens, you know. Radio waves have to curve down because they can't get out of the atmosphere, right, or hemisphere, or, you know. They don't want to say what it really is because it would open up a can of worms. It, it, and I'm waiting to see if the car net car is going to come. Oh, no, no, no. Rady, there's no problems with having, you know, be, you know, people put those things in their ear. There's no problem. Don't worry about it. Have you noticed in the last, what, 10 years after all this stuff and 5G starts making it, you know, have you noticed there's a lot of different cancers in the world? I'm not sitting here saying I'm putting one and one together, but, you know, and I'm not trying to, of course, that's the other thing. Uh, they get the experts. The experts come on and say, no, it's, it, 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 the towers don't cause, don't cause what you say it does. You got to stop listening to those conspiracy theorists on YouTube. That's why, maybe that mother had listened to somebody on YouTube and was wondering why Johnny was coming home with headaches or something like that, you know. But, but no, they can't, no, 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 no. You got to stop. That's why we got to put a squish on all the conspiracy theorists because they, because they, they won't, they're, they're telling you stuff that, no, the experts and all the fact checkers, you know, they know better. That's right. We don't know who the hell they are, but they apparently know better, you know. Or, or I guess you got to walk around. Maybe if I come on here and I put a, a little tag on here that I'm an expert, maybe they'll list. Maybe somebody will listen to me. Maybe that's or I can put here fact checker. Yeah, I can call myself Derby Jack the fact checker. Maybe I'll get people will sign up. Maybe they'll listen to me. You know, I can go. I'm a fact checker. God's word is real. Science is a bunch of bullshit. I'm a fact checker. I'm an expert. I'll have expert on this side and a fact checker on this side. So, apparently, there is no real data or data, data, whatever. So, there's, there's no data, apparently. By, don't you think that, you know, 
you would have a, you know, do, how many trial runs in a, how, how long have they investigated their tower reach and what it does and the ramp of, you know, you know, whatever is, you know, coming out, you know, the radiation, you know. Why is it that sometimes you'll see birds? It's funny how nature is, I've seen birds try to pull wires out of them damn things because they know. The birds are smart. They know there's something wrong with them damn things. Then somebody has a camera up there. Why do they put the cameras up there near the towers so they can watch that stuff and maybe watch some idiot try to climb up the pole and knock the things down? No, they can't have that. So they have the cameras up there, so if something happens, a, a bird gets too close, all they got to do is ramp up that 5G radiation poisoning and the bird drops down. Oh, Derby Jack, you come, you're, out, you're out of your mind. These things don't happen. Yeah, they don't happen. You know, I remember about, what, two years ago? There was a guy from France who puts up these things when they started. Well, I, yeah, about two years. Remember when they started making people lock down and keep them in their house and keep your shades closed so you don't see them, you know, you know building a tower next to your house? So anyway, you know, he was in France and he had one of them, them things, you know, he had, these things are, you ever see them up there? They're like, they're like stoplights. Stoplights don't look all that big until you're next to them. They, they're as big as you are almost. These things are giant size, man. And yet they have a little box and there's a little box. He opened up the little box and guess what it said? There in the corner, it had a module area and it said 5G. Uh, 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 5G and then underneath it said COVID. 19 or uh, C19 that was what it was it was it, it was 5G C19 now does that sound like that could be considered a conspiracy theorist or maybe you know well you said C that could be just a a, a, a number in a yeah well isn't it just convenient that that would be that right that that would be co or or, or C O V or 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 C nineteen. I mean, no, that's a conspiracy theorist idea. No, those things don't happen. Or or you would believe or you you wouldn't believe that you know your your government don't give two shits about whether you get radiation poison or not. No, they care about us. Come on, they got all the experts out there who watch this stuff and and the and they got and they got the fact checkers who you know who who come on and, and let us know what's right and wrong. You know. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, I hate this world. I hate it. I hate our flat plane. I, I, I want to, I, I want to see the flat plane go up in flames. Maybe I'll write a song about that. Flat plane going up in flame. I, I never. So anyway, I'll sound like the doors. Flat plane going up in flame. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mess, man. And, and and they're covering their freaking tracks so much. I just, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I just can't believe people, humanity, listen, please, for your salvation, for your everlasting life, where you're going to go, wake the blank up. Stop letting them tell you lies over and over and over again they're already talking you know it's a lie when they say well holiday season come and 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 and, and airlines are projecting uh, uh, so many millions of people traveling this year and of course and the card and car right behind them saying the oh, projection and the spiking of you know what will probably appear You'd think that they'd come up and say, well, if everybody's done their precautions, that we, we, we hope that this year it'll go low. No, they never tell you it's going to get lower. Isn't that something? The, these are experts. The only thing they know is that it gets worse. You know, Klaus Schwab, right? Only thing he knows is that 
we have to have these things happen. We have to have pandemics. We have to have sicknesses and illnesses and plagues so we can have a great opportunity to change things. And, 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 and yet, you human monkey popular, you just don't think about what they're saying. You don't, you let that slide by. We, we have to have opportunities. We, we, we have to get our foot in the door to be able to do these changes, to make things better. So, so you can own nothing and be happy. Stupidity. We need all these toys. We need all this technology. I just got off a thing. God was talking about the, the evolutionists now are, have, have a lot of problems and things are, and, and, this, and, and, I, and this one guy had said something, he goes, uh, we're, we're, no, I still believe in Neanderthals. And I came back and I said, well, if, if there is a problem with evolution, I said, you know, are you still evolving and blah, blah, this and that. And I say in something else, you know, where evolution, they say it takes so long, so many billions of years for things to change. But yet, if you dig it up, you know, we never see it change because it happens so quickly. You know, I mean, this is science. This is what they, this is science. So anyway. What it is, it's, it's ideas and theology or in all these ideas that, that, that are injected, <laughs> injected into the conversation of, uh, of, of whether there is um, uh, evolution or not. There's always an injection, you see. When you, but when you come to religion, religion is archaic. You can't depend on religion. Oh, they thought the earth was flat back then. Oh, they thought everything was created, that there wasn't natural selection and all that. So they got to interject that in there. Interject all those worthless words into, you know. Oh, and so all of a sudden, all the expertise words that get interjected uh, when it comes to the Bible, well, that's just archaic. Those people didn't know. They're afraid of things. People who don't, people who don't believe in God say, oh, you need God because you're such a afraid of cat. You're afraid of life. You're afraid of the world. You're afraid of technology. You're afraid of aliens. You need, you, you, you know, you. And, 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 so, and, so, and so I had to come back to this guy. He came back. Well, what does science have? I said, you know, science and evil and Satan are all working together. And he comes back. Well, what does science have to do with Satan? And I had to come back. This is the problem with you human monkeys. You're still evolving or evo you're de-evolving. And, 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 and you don't know how to think for yourself. And you believe bullshit. And you don't understand. I said, you're ignorant. Just asking, just asking that question makes you ignorant. That's basically what I was saying to him. You know, I didn't paraphrase. But basically, it's like, you know, you asking a question like that makes you an ignorant man. Or how oh, I believe it, monkey, you know. So it's, it's a shame, you know. So be, be, be aware this, this year, of course, I always tell you, if you're out and about and you're next to somebody who's got a face tampon on, and you see it, you see the band-aid on their arm, remember, your best bet for your protection, because you don't know what they're incubating, stay about 12 feet away from them. Don't even get close to them. Uh, talk to them as if they're across the hall. You know, don't, when they say, uh, no, stay over there across the street. I'll talk to you this way, you know. I don't want to, you know. And please, if they are in front of you, always ask somebody, to make sure they never take that thing off their face because you don't want, you know. So I'm telling you, un, um, the un, that you didn't get it, you didn't roll up your sleeve, if you're still one like me who hasn't, your best bet is to stay away from the <coughs> infect, <coughs> dead, after, remember, because... This one is the Buffy the Vampire Spike vacuum, okay? Just remember that. This one's called the uh, Vampire Spike, you know, Spike the Vampire. Remember on Buffy the Vampire? Yeah, that's the, the new one. And so you definitely, definitely want to stay about 12 or 15 feet from those who, you know, because you don't know they'll be spiking. Like Buffy spiking the vampires, you know, that's what will happen, you know. And you don't, you don't want to be spiked like a vampire, you know, because 
you never know what will happen after that. So, uh, uh, so I'm saying to all of you who have kept your slaves down, you've obeyed the word of God, you, 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 you did your own research, you, you didn't believe the monkeys on, uh, and, and the talking heads on television, you, you didn't fall for the experts, you didn't give two shits what Anthony said, and you knew Anthony was a liar, and the car dent car, you know, of course, we, we'd like to see that place disbanded and left alone and, you know, and, and doors falling off, you know, and, and, and the people laughing scock who actually thought that they were important and the things that they said and they were experts, I want to see them out in the street and, um, and, and look pitiful. That's right. So th th this, is, this, is, this, is, this is my rant for the day, you know. So we, we, we came to 5G towers, uh, 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 all, all the numbers that will go up during the holidays flying and, and also all the other, you know, scientific bullcrap jargon, you know, about whether, whether, you know, science is great, you know, what does science have to do with Satan bull, you know, ignorance, 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 it's a shame. So many ignorant people. I maybe I ought to write that song. Here's to all the ignorant people living in this world. You know, I, don't, uh, I, I am just, it is so sad. Especially nowadays. Especially now when you're looking at the world around you and you actually can see it for what it is. How can people not see? How can you not look up and know that that's not a cloud? How can you look up and think, well, those contrails are still here and it's been five hours why why does it why don't you look up from your phone and see the things that are going on you know when was the last time during the summer you seen a lizard i haven't seen lizards this summer i i've seen i've seen big giant um uh, 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 uh mosquitoes had one on my, I should have taken a picture of it, had one in my bathroom on, on, on the door. This thing was beautiful, man, a big giant mosquito. I'd never seen one this big. And, but I, of course, I took a piece of tissue and I got him into the, because I knew he probably, I didn't hear any crunching because I was kind of thinking maybe it was one of them government mosquitoes, you know, just come and spy on me, you know. Oh, another conspiracy theorist thing. Believe it, you know. So anyway. Um, that's it. I'm still working on a teaching that I'm not ready to, to deliver yet because I can't, I can't, I, I, I've got to look, I've, I've got to, there's a lot of missing intricate facets to this particular teaching and I don't have it all together yet. So, uh, it may take a while, but anyway, um, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm glad, I'm hoping y'all are enjoying the music. Like I said, uh, for anybody out there who, who would like to have a song written for them, um, for a birthday party, whatever, I'm still going to keep it up a little bit. Anybody want to spend $25 to have a song written for a purpose, for for a wedding uh, anniversary, for, for, for a grandma and grandpa anniversary, for, for a birthday, you know. Maybe you want to write a song about your, 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 your passing away dog or, 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 or father or mother or, or friend. Or, or maybe you want to write a song about a boyfriend or you want to write a song about a girlfriend. Keep it, I'll keep it clean. Nothing, you know, um, and, you know uh, uh, memories. A song of uh, of family members who have been gone for a long time, and you want you want to have a song. I'm a songwriter, you know. Uh, challenge my, my my talent, you know. Uh, take advantage of my talent, you know. If, when you do jingles, when you have professional songwriters and jingles and stuff like that. Remember, remember two and a half men, you know. You know, they, what's his name? He, he he was he was a jingle writer. He's making a lot of money, right? Well, I'm not asking for a lot of money. And I'm going to give you 110% of, of, of good foundational, uh, um, you know, music, you know, and, and I'll put a lot of thought into the story, but I need to know the, what the story is, a biography of the person or whatever, the situation, uh, names, you know, give me a little bit of, email me, give me a little bit of understanding if you want it. Like I said, $25 a song. I'll record it. 
write it, record it, uh, do backup music to it, and then send it to you uh, either Gmail or privately through 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 um, uh, 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 YouTube, whatever you prefer. So it'll go directly to you, and you could do whatever you want with it. It's your song. I mean, so if you would be if you'd like to have a song written, let me know. You know, and um, and, and 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 record it professionally and 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 sent to you. Uh, if you don't like the song, uh, I will not do it over again. All I ask is that, you know, I will reimburse you the money. Uh, uh, all I ask is allow me to have at least $10 and I'll send you $15 only because I put the effort into it. And that would have to be an agreement between you and me. If you... So anyway, also um, keep listening to my music and keep sharing it. I don't know how much longer my ministry channel is going to be up because I am being hit so much uh, by not being hit in respect to where they don't hit me as much as they used to. Uh, only because they keep me, like I always make a joke, they keep me in the basement with Scully and Mulder of the X-Files. I can't get out of there. And the only way I grow is when you guys spread me to other people. So do that with my music. If you don't do it with my ministry channel, then do it with my music channel. I mean, this music I'm putting out, these songs are gems, and I don't say that out of being a egotistical, prideful person. I'm not like the assholes out there making music. Also, the idiots out there who are playing, uh, uh, play, playing music supposedly for God, and it's not very godly. So, you know, I, 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 I am proud of the point that I am sitting here playing godly music that I'm playing thought-provoking music. I'm playing music which can reach your soul. Real music that can change your heart because it's written and, 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 and performed with the Spirit of Christ. So there's a difference than the crap that you're hearing out there in the churches. So, you know, I, I'd like to think that, 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 that what I do musically is not any different than what David did in his psalms. All them songs that you read in Psalms, they had music behind them. They weren't just written and said. We say them there, but there was music behind them. You know, I mean, you could think of uh, 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 Psalms 23, right? You know, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I mean, that was the way it was that that archaic but be but be a beautiful you were singing to god resonating voice to god as god created like they say the big bang god said it boom it became that's what it was that's your big bang but yes the voice resonates in the spirit and good music when you hear it and and and, and it has purpose will help you, help you grow, help you get more spiritual. That's what I produce in most of the songs that I write. Because that's what David did when he, when he wrote psalms. Each one of them psalms had music behind him. You know, even when he had, when he had other people write things, they would come to him and they would write it as a lyric. That was what it was. They didn't just write it and say it. It was musically. They had harps in the background. And if they didn't, a cappello, they would have two or three people singing in different... It, it, that's, how you, that's how you read a psalm in your heart. You sing it. You let the music of the Spirit move you. So anyway, in saying all this, we're getting close. The world is really, really getting bad. And um, humanity has lost itself. I, 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 it, it, it's harder and harder. It gets harder and harder for me to believe that people are finding God. Because people are so wrapped up. Humanity is so wrapped up in itself. They've got so many things that they want you to pay attention to. Fake stars of, and, and, and fake, uh, fake uh, 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 Jews and, and fake wars and people dying for no reason at all and, 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 and children being, be, 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 being marketed for meat 
and sex by people who have money, people you vote for on both sides, bloodletting, rituals. Do you know why they killed? Do you know why they killed Kennedy, John F. Kennedy? Because of the one thing he said. No, not because you're going to go to the moon all. He was all, he was screwed up there. He didn't know any better. But what he did say made sense. That's why they killed him. We will not tolerate, I'm paraphrasing, uh, secret societies in this country. That's what got him killed. Because that's what this country is all about, secret societies. He wanted it to be exposed. He knew who they were. But no, no. Kennedy was killed for that. So you want to add that to your conspiracy theorists? Go ahead. But that's truth. There may have been a couple other little things, but no, 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 no. The main thing was nobody's going to come up. You, you can't even be a president to expose the truth. So the fake alien bullshit. The, uh, 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 what was it? Reagan. Re Reg Reagan wanted to expose... Uh, uh, even Bu even even second Bush wanted to expose supposedly the alien agenda, but they couldn't because the truth of the matter is it wasn't aliens, they were fallen angels, and you can't expose one thing without exposing all, and mankind wasn't going to exa what wasn't going to understand, you know. So it, it, it I could go on and go on. So anyway. Keep me in prayer as I keep you all in prayer. I'm trying to feel better. It's it's not easy. Uh, I'd love to play more music, and it's a, but I just lay down a lot. I'm not feeling well at all. Uh, I'm trying to do other things to, 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 to hopefully you know make some money in here and, and things like that. I can't go back to work the way I used to and and um, and stuff. And like I said, I, I depend on you know hopefully helping. Uh, a few bucks here and there for those who, who, who can do it. If not, you know, I understand all I care about is your prayer then, you know. I don't want to break anybody's bank. I'm, I, I, I depend on God, and if God moves in you to, to, to give, then I do. The people who have given, man, I love you all. I love you people who continue giving. I do have some who continue gives, and I, I'm telling you, you, you don't know how much it blesses my heart. And, and, that, and that money is not being squandered, okay? It's, it's being used, and... And, and it's prayed over, and 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 and, and I and, and it, it's all part of building up, building up my belief and building up my my heart and, and and my resolve, so I don't fall to the wayside. So believe it or not, it's it it goes a long way. The little that that people give, and I I you know I I am just so humble, and, and stuff. So anyway, pray for the people in Maui. Still, don't let those people be forgotten. They let them. Keep forgotten the 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 the, the idiots on on you. They, nobody wants to talk about that. They want us to concentrate on these stupid wars and 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 and, and the Nazi up in uh, Zelensky, the Nazi, and wants us to uh, and all the and all the all the Jesuits and all and, and, and all the Zionists over there who 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 are in control. Not the not the regular people dying. That they not the ones on the outside. I'm talking on both sides. I'm talking the Hezbollah, whatever whatever the hell they are. Uh, I don't even care about the names anymore because, because this war is bullshit and it should never have happened. And if it does happen, I want both sides, the, uh, the, the whatever they're over here, and, and the, I want them to kill each other. Just kill each other so the people can be freed from you. If you guys just slaughter one another, get, do it, you know. But leave us Americans out of it. Well, we're not American anymore. We have to. Uh, but, but, but just do, do it on your own. You don't need our money anymore. You wouldn't let me go over there and preach the word of God on your, on your streets of Jerusalem. So why do I want to care about your streets of Jerusalem? See what I'm saying? You, you, you deny God. You deny Christ. You deny Jesus. So, so what do I care? So, so, so kill each other. I don't care. It means nothing to me. But I just hope you get it done soon so the people no longer have to suffer on both sides. See, I, I don't want the innocent people on both sides to suffer and be killed anymore. So if you guys just do it to yourselves, then you know, why don't you just come out in the streets 
get yourselves a bunch of, uh, uh, of knives and, and swords like they used to fight and just slaughter one another. And like I said, but leave the people alone. You know? And like I said, if people do die under these stupid conditions of stupid wars, make sure, make sure you pray that they die saved. Because they may not always have the uh, luxury of being saved physically. They may die in this life. They're in a war zone. So you pray that they die saved, that they find Jesus, that they, they find God, they find truth. They, find, they, they, they allow the Christ to dwell within them before they die. That's what you pray for. So anyway, I'm sick of these monkeys. I, I'm sick of hearing the wars. I'm sick of it. I, if it was up to me, I'd disband them all. If I was God, they'd all be struck down. You wouldn't have to worry it no more. Thank God I'm not God, right? I can't make those decisions. But yeah, all the people who do things against humanity and against God, I believe they all deserve capital punishment. None, none. If, if, you, if you were even a person, you know, pushing a plunger and somebody happened to become with a heart don't beat no more, you're just as guilty. Even if it was considered indirectly, capital punishment. All people who were involved in this from one end or another and people lost their lives, capital punishment. There, there's no ifs, ands, buts about it. Because you know why? That's what God's going to do. At the end, he has his own capital punishment. Capital punishment is that ye shall surely die. Y'all keep forgetting about that. God's a very just God. And God says, you go against the law, you go against me, ye shall surely die. I'm not kidding you. But he's supposed to be a loving God. He is a loving God. He loved you enough to allow you to be stupid or allow you to have intelligence and make the right choices in life. But you decided to deny him, decided to be selfish, d decided to be a pompous ass, decided to be a human monkey, believe in the scientism, the religion of scientism, and forget about him. So yeah, ye you, you shall surely die. You allowed the salvation of the Spirit to leave you for some of you who were born again. And then you idiots out there who believe, oh, we're going to get raptured. What happens if you don't get raptured and shit gets bad? Are you going to curse God and die then? Because many of you are set up to be like that. Many of you people believe you're going to get raptured before everything happens out. That's what you're set up for. Because when everything comes to an end, you're going to sit here and wonder, I've been told in my church for, 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 for as long as I remember as a little girl that I was going to get raptured out of here before everything got bad. And it didn't happen. So are you going to be a Job? Or are you going to be like the friends of Job and the wife of Job? Why don't you just curse God and die? Is that what you're going to do? Because that's what you're being set up for. So all you people believe that you're going to be raptured out of here before everything goes real bad, you're set up for that. You're set up to curse God and die. You don't know it yet, but that's what's going to happen because you're going to be dismayed that God has not taken you out of here. What are you going to say to God then? What are you going to say when they put your head possibly under a guillotine, ready to, and they just say, are you going to denounce God? If you denounce God, we'll let you live. Because you were thinking you were going to get raptured. And it didn't happen. I mean, you're crushed. This has been your faith all your life. This is what the ministers told you over and over and over. He pounded it in your head that you're going to be raptured. Don't worry about it. You're saved and always saved. And when you're in hell, you'll be cursing God forever and ever. Why? Because... You lost your salvation, and you were told you wouldn't. See, it, it has to do, people, your spiritual life and your life when it comes to God, it has to do with what you believe. If you, if you believe wrongly, because to believe that you're going to be raptured out of here before everything happens means that you're more selfish, you're selfish. You're more worried about you 
then you are anything else. Because that's what you're hoping for. You're hoping for a quick, you know, I watch the, I watch the movies. That's what happens. To Clint. What if it don't happen exactly that way? What if it happens? I've said this before too. What if, what if it happens if you're underneath the blade and the, and, and the thing comes down on your neck and chops your head off? What if you're raptured then? But the problem is, when your soul leaves and, and you die, you die with the same mindset that you did after you're dead. You'll, have, you'll, you'll be, you'll be risen, risen again again with the same mindset. You see what I'm saying? For you people who are, who are not of God. So, so what I'm, what I'm saying is, if you went, if you, if you got your head chopped off and you're in hell, you find yourself in hell, you're not going to be thinking, oh, please God, I made a mistake. No, you're going to be sitting there. You're going to be swearing. You're going to be hating God. You're going to be hating the church. You're going to be hating everything that, 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 that told you this and that. And, and, and then you're going to blame God for it. You're not going to blame your, your religion. You're not going to, that's the mindset. I mean, if you believe that you're not going to end up with some type of possibility of being tortured, I've told you all many times, and you don't hear this in the church, what if they come to your door? You decided not to do this, and you decided not to do it, but you're not to get your family involved and do it either. But now they're coming down on you. They want to come and take your kids away from you. They'll get a SWAT team to come in. They know you got guns, so they get the SWAT team in there to get your kids away from you. You start fighting them, they beat you down, or you're going to kill you. They're, they're, where's your rapture? Or, or you're sitting there, and they kill your children one by one. Little baby, kill your wife, and you're standing there watching it. Are you loving on God then? Are you trusting? Are you worshiping them? Are you praising them? Think of Job. Are you still praising them? They even went as far as shooting your dog in the head and laying it on top of the bodies of the people they just shot, which was your family. Are you still worshiping God now? God no matter what that should be in your heart if you're married I understand it's a rough it's a rough pill to swallow but your wife has her own responsibility to her salvation as you have your only responsibility to your salvation you know your little children the innocent if they're killed, they go to heaven with God. There, there's no, there, you don't have to worry about their everlasting life. But like I said, if you had older kids, 17, 18, they're of the mind, they're no longer innocent. Especially now, the kids today aren't innocent, okay? 17, no, no. So mentally, that is. They, they got all kinds of shit in their heads. There's no virgin. There's, they, they could be a virgin, but they may not be a virgin up here. You see what I'm saying? So all of this stuff, all of this stuff, what's your mindset going to be if it happens? So you don't hear this in church. They, they don't want you walking out of church thinking, remorsing, they want you to walk out feeling good. Things are going great. Don't worry about it. Support Israel. Do what they say when it comes back again, you know. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm fed up. Anyway. Pray, pray, pray. That's all we have. Well, I love y'all, and um, 
Derby Jack out, and I hope to see you all on the other side.